my channel Shy's Designs and I'm Cheyenne. I started this business because I wanted to stay home with my babies and make money while doing that. I'm here to breathe life back into furniture and make beautiful pieces affordable again. Let's get started. To open up this video we have a six drawer dresser here. This awesome piece I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for $40. I'm so excited to get started on this one because it's so dated and doesn't currently have a place in anyone's home. Let's see how this transformation went. First, I gave the whole thing a good cleaning with some crud cutter and a microfiber towel just to prepare the surface for a light sanding and a priming hack that I wanted to try. Just to be on the safe side, I like to wear gloves and my face mask and keep the garage door open during the entire process. Next, I took off the hardware. I plan to use the knobs again in the finished piece. After removing the door from the full piece, I got to work removing the window design. I decided my quickest option would be scoring the design and then pouring polish remover and keeping it under a plastic wrap for about an hour would be my best bet. I removed this design because I initially wanted to use the door again for the finished piece. I kept it in the video so that I could show you guys how I removed the window design. After preparing the window for design removal, I moved on to lightly sanding the surface where there was water damage on the dresser. This piece was very obviously not hardwood, so I wanted to be as delicate as possible. As you can see here, the polish remover worked like a charm. Upon removal of the window design, I did notice quite a bit of water damage to the door as well, and I wasn't very happy with the fact that I couldn't get the line work off because when you turned it to the front, the design was silver and not gold. After a lot of back and forth in my head, I decided to nix the door altogether and focus my time on making the shelf amazing on its own. Then I proceeded with a little bit more sanding from a few spots I saw I then filled any divots or holes I came across while sanding with my DAP plastic wood filler. I sanded that back and then I got to work on the priming hack I wanted to try. I have dabbled a bit with finding other ways to prime my piece without having to use Zinzer Bin every time I prime. The cost adds up, especially since I only paint with light colors. So I tried going full speed ahead and trying the spray paint as a full primer out for size. I'm so excited to see how this turns out and I can't wait to show you guys the results. Next, I mixed my Transformer Chalk Teak and Bare Paint called Jojoba together to make my chalk mix for my sprayer. Then I prepared my drawers for painting. I used scotch blue pre-paint tape and a drop cloth combo, and this works so well, I'm always happy with my results. I then filter my chalk paint mixture into my paint container for my sprayer. These reusable filters have been my favorite purchase so far, and they're so much easier to use. After filtering the chalk paint, I popped the container onto the Rex Betty sprayer and got to painting. So happy with the coverage and I tried to bang the drawers left in because I saw it done on a few pages, but I'm not super happy with how it turned out for me. So I will be returning back to my regular way of spraying without my drawers in. Flipping furniture is truly a trial and error basis. What works for some doesn't work for others because every piece is truly unique and you really have to learn to roll with the punches. I did order my pools in silver, but they weren't quite the same as the spray paint that I bought, so I just ended up spraying all of them. I'm sure it's no secret that flipping furniture is truly trial and error basis. What works for someone else might not work for you. Every piece is truly unique and you really have to learn to roll with the punches.
For the top coat, I used Verithane Ultimate Polyurethane Matte Water Base Top Coat. I mixed in a tiny bit of my paint color just so I didn't get a weird glazed coat, and I sprayed it on this time, and I'm loving the time that it saves me. At last, we get to put the pools on. I picked these guys up from Amazon, and I will link them down below. Because I'm not a woodworking connoisseur, I was very nervous about redoing this open middle shelf, and I will definitely go into detail with step-by-steps in a later video. But for now, here's how it turned out. You guys, I am shook with how this turned out. I never imagined I could accomplish something like this. I was truly out of my comfort zone with this project. With all of your guys' kind words on every single one of my videos, I knew I just had to push along, and I'm so happy I did. Like I said in the beginning, I spent $40 on this piece. I spent $10 on my paint, and I spent $16 on the Amazon pools that I got. I ended up posting this guy on Facebook Marketplace for $200, and I haven't sold it. Hey guys, so I actually got way more traction than I thought I would on the dresser, and I just wanted to do a quick update that I sold it for $30 more. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and coming on yet another adventure. If you enjoyed this video or happen to learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I post every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you then.